today on Leisha today I am going to be trying to define my curls using um, some techniques I've seen other youtubers use to see if I can get my hair to be well defined first I'm gonna start with washing my hair so this is my hair just dry before washing I'm gonna use some care care it is a first lather shampoo and then the cleansing cream and then I'm gonna put the moisturizing conditioner and then I'm gonna leave that on for about 20 minutes and then I'm gonna sit under the hair dryer for 20 minutes and then I will come back okay so now I have the conditioner in my hair and I put on a plastic cap and then I'm going to go and sit under the dryer Okay, so this is my hair after I set in the dryer. So I'm gonna rinse it out with lukewarm water or cold. And then I'll be back to do the styling. Okay, this is my hair straight after I am finished rinsing it out. And then we're gonna get to styles. Okay, so I got a new brush today. Where'd I put it? <laughs> oh, right here. So it's a Denman brush. It's um, made by Goody. Um, it came with some extra ones. So you can change the sizes, it says. So I can like take this off and then looks like they have shorter sizes in here so let's see so this one looks like that you can replace the combs with that and then there this one looks thicker so if you look at these side by side this one looks thicker than this one it looks like they're the same yeah same height let me put these back and hopefully not mix them up and then this one right here I'm just gonna use the one that came in the brush and if you guys wanted to see like I said I got it from Walmart and it came in a package like this so it's goody let it happen and custom detangling brush And then um, it just has on the back thicker bristles, thinner bristles, um, and how to use. So if you guys are interested. This will be my first time using a Denman brush because um, from the videos, other people's videos, it looks like this is what um, they're able to get their curls to like really be defined using. And then I'm going to put some of this on my scalp. I don't know if you can see it and then I'm gonna put this in as my leave-in conditioner this main the main choice tropical moringa sweet oil and honey endless moisture rinse out or leave-in conditioner help support natural growth and retention so this is what I'm gonna use for my leave-in and then I have a cream of nature Pure Honey Moisture Whip Twisting Cream. I'm going to put that on next. And then this is the only gel I had, so I was going to just try this gel. It's um, Pro Style Argan Oil Gel. So that's what I'm going to put in last, and then I'm going to brush it. So I'll let you guys see. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to start with hair fertilizer. I'm just going to put it all in my scalp. If you see me look up, I'm just looking in my mirror. I try to use my phone as well. Let's see. So I just put it all throughout my scalp. And I just rub it in. Like so. 
I even try to make sure I get like my little edges because after I had my kids, it seems like my edges have come out. So I'm trying to style it without, you know, putting too much tension on the front of my hair. So that's why I'm, I'm trying this wash and go, trying to get my curls as defined because I don't know if you saw the video of the video. My hair was like really, um, kind of, I don't want to say frizzy, but I guess you could say frizzy, not as defined. So I'm going to try this. this. is my first time, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so next I am trying, um, I'm putting in this leave-in conditioner. So I just put it in. Trying to make sure I get it all in my hair. So I recently cut my hair, so it's shorter, so we'll see. But I try to make sure I get it all in. Try not to use a brush too much in my hair. Okay. So that's in there. Okay. And if you see me keep dipping down, I'm just getting the stuff off the floor. Because that's what I'm getting. Okay. So then the next thing I'm going to put in is this twisting whipped cream. Moisturizing whip. Same thing. I'm just going to put it all over. Make sure it's in there really good. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more. Just to make sure it's all over each strand. Try to make sure I get the center of my hair too because sometimes if I don't make sure I get the center it seems like that part gets drier faster so I'm guessing I'm not getting the product all over so I'm trying to be intentional and get all my strands okay so there's that I am going to put in the gel so I'll start I'll just part it kind of do it a little bit at a time so I'll start with the back so let me get a little hair clip my hands are slippery a little hair clip out of my drawer clip up my hair okay so I don't know if you can see it that part. So then I'm going to put some of the gel in. Now if you can see it. Okay. And then, this is my first time using this brush, so then I'm going to try the brush. Okay. Oh, yeah. They definitely look more defined. Okay. All right. So then I'm going to keep going. I feel like I have fine hair, so it's probably not going to take me that long to do it. So I don't have that much hair. <laughs> Slippery hands. Okay. So getting some more gel. And right here on this side. Like I said, trying to make sure I'm saturating 
every single piece of my hair, not forgetting to get any middle pieces. Okay. And then if you see me kind of doing piece by piece, I'm just detangling with my fingers. Okay, and then same thing, I'm gonna try the brush again. Try to get it close. Oh yeah, that looks really good. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay. All right. Other side. Hopefully it doesn't fly out of my hand this side. <laughs> okay. So then I'm getting some more gel. Putting it in. And then finger detangling it. Okay. Then I'm going to get the brush again. Like they just spring back up there yeah that looks really good okay all right start getting this up the front part see do I want to have like a little part or do I want a middle part mm. I don't really care about doing too many parts I kind of just like to let my hair be free do what it wants Gel in there. Finger detangle. Okay. Ooh, they're just bouncing the back in there. Let's see. Yeah, that looks super good. Okay. Almost done. Like I said, I don't have a lot of hair, so can be able to get through this quickly. Okay. My gel. Yeah, so I'm just trying to be more conscious of taking care of myself so I can, you know, have my quality time doing things I need to do for myself while, you know, my husband's with the kids. And this is one of the things I do on Sundays is I wash my hair take my time, I don't feel rushed, and my husband just takes care of watching the kids while I do my hair. Okay, so this is my last piece up here. Okay. I'm actually thinking about getting my hair cut into an actual short curly hairstyle what do you guys think because right now it's kind of just like like I said I just cut it because my hair was just seeming like it just wasn't doing all that great so I cut it to help possibly keep it from breaking or whatever it was doing <clears throat> But what do you guys think? Should I try to get it cut into a short hairstyle since my hair is already short anyway? 
that way it will be you know more of a style when I do try to do the curly wash and goes so I don't know if I'm putting enough gel because it seems like you know when I've seen it done it looks like a lot of products is in the um, their hair and kind of looks kind of like conditioner I guess like kind of like white so I don't know if I'm not putting enough so this is just my first time trying it just to see how it will turn out okay so I feel like my hair looks really defined and it's cute I like it what do you guys think here let me stand up okay so this is the end product like I said I don't really do too much with my hair I'm trying to make sure I'm letting my um, edges grow back so I don't try to do like you know the you know gel in my edges and all that stuff I kind of just let my hair be but yeah so this is the finished product and like I said, I'm gonna try some different products as well to see if I can make it even more defined or maybe add more pr um, product into it so that it's even more because it still kind of seems like a little frizzy and not as defined, but I feel like it looks more defined than it did before. I think it's cute. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'll be trying to post more often. All right, have a good day. Stay blessed.